Praise God. I said, praise God. God. When God showed me this, he said, he said, you could create some values. People will be paying for you, paying you, and at the same time, they are praying for you. Because they know the money they are giving you is not what, what you have received from them. Glory to Jesus. Money is value. Somebody say money is value. If you understand this, it will change your perspective about money. It will change your perspective about money. Uh, it will change your behavior about money. Praise the Lord. When some people don't have cash in their pocket or in their bank, they start fidgeting. They, they fall apart. They, they start misbehaving. They are angry. They are depressed. That's because they don't understand what money is. Praise the Lord. Uh, so long as as far as you carry value, even if you don't carry the the naira equivalent, or if you, even if you don't have the naira equivalent of it yet in your hand, but you have value, then you are not broke. Glory to Jesus. I said, glory to Jesus. Praise God. I, I think about two weeks now. I don't know if somebody here here read it. All this internet news that pops up in our phones about a a traffic orca who earns one million naira per month. Did somebody see that? Did you see that? So I took time to read it, and the person had been making investigation about those people. He said some of them earn 200,000 naira per month. This guy came, started, was selling little by little, so it, uh, it occurred to him to go to his village, and he brought boys. So he, he became a distributor, praise the Lord. He said in every month, he clears one million naira and above. Praise God. You know, some of us see them on the streets running. When I saw, I said, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hippo man is not daft. Praise God. For him to be sweating and running after a car every time inside the sun, something is there. Praise God. Did you hear that joke that if you go to any country and you didn't see Bowman there, just leave because uh, nothing is happening there. So when you see them in traffic, it's, uh -huh. something is here. Praise God. I said, praise God. Uh, so money is not, uh, it's not cash. Money is value. Glory to Jesus. If you understand it, you'll be able to make money over and over again. Just create value. Just identify. So if you want to consider it, money boils down to two things. People and the need in their lives. People and the need that they have. Identify where there is people identify what needs they have in their lives, create a value to meet that needs, and you'll be smiling to the bank. Glory to God. As you are sitting here now, there are people. Am I communicating? Are there needs here? So seated here is money. Money. Plenty of money everywhere. After this service now, there are some people who will still make money. Glory to God. Some zobolizing people, they will make money. Praise God. Uh, some acidic chin chin people, they will say, okay, I think, praise God. They make money. Some people, they, they, they oh, it's, this is where it starts from. You know, I like, I like starting things from the foundation. If you cannot identify what money is, you are looking for money in ties, in an office, in, 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 a, in, a, in, a, in an office work, you will continue to do that. Praise God. When people sit down, uh, prophet, powerful prophet, but he, 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 he's a miner. Glory, if you want to do, do mining business, talk to this prophet after, after service. Praise the Lord. Okay? I, I, I wonder, when, I've said it over and over again, I, I wonder when people say, I don't know what to do. There are a thousand and one things to do in this country to make money. Glory to God. That's what the Chinese are seeing. That's what the Indians are seeing. That's what the Lebanese are seeing. That is making them true peer. Listen. There are almost many more Chinese in our villages than in our cities. Because Igbe means bush. It means forest. That's where there's money. Praise the Lord. I said praise the Lord. God will deliver you and I from Thai mentality. Ah, that amen is weak, oh. From Thai mentality. In the name of Jesus. From sitting around and expecting only a salary. May God deliver you. May God deliver me. So whenever there are people, 
and people who have needs, and you are able to identify that value, and then you are meeting it, you are already making money. So the more value you create, the more money you make. And then the more people your value that you create serves, the more money you make. Number two M, 10 M's, like I said. You must master the misconceptions of money. You must have a good handle on the misconceptions that people have about money. You must have a right conception about money. What are some misconceptions? Some people think that money is bad. They think that money is filthy. Because according to them, money is the root of all evil. That is false. Bible didn't say that money is the root of all evil. What did the Bible say? The love of money is the root of all evil. Somebody say money is good. Say it one more time. Say it one more time. Okay, another, another misconception. Money, some people think that money necessarily competes with God in our hearts. True, money can, may compete with God in our lives, but it doesn't have to be so. Praise the Lord. If you understand how to put money where it belongs, you can, you can have God and have plenty of money. You can have all of God and have plenty of money. Am I communicating? Am I communicating? This is, the, this is the, the lies that the devil sold to the Christians, to our, our fathers, the people who received Pentecostalism into, into our nation. They believe that poverty and piety went together. They believe that prosperity and piety did not uh, go together. So they were in poverty until God raised people like uh, Apostle Benson Idaosa, and then he began to break it. Glory to Jesus. Somebody say, I can have God and I can have money. Say it one more time. I can have God and I can have money. This is a very vital, impo uh, vitally important uh, uh, part because it's, it's also very important you know that money has the capacity to compete with God in your life. So uh, when, you, when you are going about trying to make money, you must have that at the back of your mind and have a check to make sure it doesn't become like that. Praise the Lord. You can write down Matthew chapter 6 verse 24. Matthew chapter 6 verse 24. Luke chapter 16 verse 19. No one can serve two masters. For either he will hate the one and will love the other. Or else he will be loyal to the one and despise the other. Okay? Praise God. And then uh, uh, Matthew, Luke 16 verse 9 verse 11 and then verse 13. Luke 16, verse 9. Okay? And I said to you, make friends of yourself, mammon. No. Let's see verse 11. Glory to Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Okay? Therefore, if you have been unfaithful, un un if you have not been faithful in the unrighteous mammon, who will commit to you the true riches? Number three, M. No. Still under misconceptions. This is very important. Some people think that money is everything. Some people's... Uh, a system just shuts down when they don't have money. Why have you not started a business? I don't have money. Then he will decorate it. I don't have capital. Why have you not gone to school? Uh, my parents don't have money. Or he, she will decorate it. We don't have capital. Why have you not done this? Uh, why have you not uh, uh, um, um, uh, registered for an exam? Uh, it's because I don't have money. They believe money is everything. Why are you not happy? Because I don't have money. Uh, why? Why? Why are you not serving God? Because I don't have money. Wrong mentality. They believe money is everything. They even quote the Bible to you that the Bible says that money is everything. Misquoted. Praise the Lord. Look at what the Bible says. Ecclesiastes chapter 10 verse 19. Ecclesiastes chapter 10 verse 19. Quickly. Oh, glory to Jesus. A feast is made for laughter. Wine makes merry. But money does what? Money does what? Money does what? I heard someone say, hey, what the Bible say? I say the Bible says it. Money, money is everything. Mon Bible didn't say money is everything. Bible says money answers everything. Shola, come here. Come here. Come here fast. Shola has come to answer me. 
Am I communicating? In this arrangement, who is the master? Who is the servant? So, if Bible says money answers, it means that money is your servant. That's what it means. That's what it means. It doesn't mean that money is your master. It's a misinterpretation and misunderstanding of that scripture. Money answers everything. You can command money. You can speak to money. You can send money on errand. Glory to Jesus. I said glory to Jesus. The next time you catch yourself making a quarrel or picking a quarrel, frowning in your house because there's no money in the house, stop it. Catch yourself. You, should, uh, you know, I say, usually grab yourself by the collar and warn yourself. Carry yourself to a sofa and throw yourself and bah! And say, well, sorry. Stop doing that in this house. How much did God have in his hands when he created the old world? Are you still here? Are you still here? You can get things done without money. You can get about anything done without money. Money may be involved at some point or the other, but you can get it done. Glory to Jesus. I said glory to Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. I said praise God. Another wrong mentality. Some believe that some are called to be poor. Others are called to be rich. Very wrong mentality, especially in the party from the north. They believe that a lot. That there are some people who are ranka day day, ranka day day, and then we are the poor. We should always be serving them. So the ranka day day will come out on Friday and it will distribute one bag of rice. And then ranka day day. That is, oh, praise God. I said, praise God. <laughs> Nothing is as evil as that kind of mindset. Am I communicating? Look at these scriptures quickly. Um, Proverbs chapter 28, verse 11. You need to be fast. The rich man is wise in his own conceit, but the poor who has understanding searches him out. Keep that one. Proverbs 22, verse 2. Proverbs 22, verse 2, quickly. Proverbs 22, verse 2. Glory to God. The rich and the poor have this in common. The Lord is the maker of them all. Are you still here? God makes us, we, dis- we make the decision either to be rich or to be poor. Are you still here? God made both the rich and the poor. It's us who now made the decision which which area to, to fall. The other place where we read, he said, he said the rich man is, uh, is wise in his own conceit. He said, but the poor man will search him, who has understanding, will search him out. If you can learn what the rich man knows, you will break into his rank. Ah, that a man is weak. I said, if you come to a place where you know what the, he knows, you break into his rank. Two of you will start meeting in the same aircraft. You start meeting in the same club. Glory to Jesus. And then while he's sipping his own, you will be sipping your own. Uh, okay, not uh, lemon juice. Praise God. And then you'll be preaching to him. Glory to God. I said, somebody help me tell your neighbor, I am not created to be a poor man. I am created to be a rich man. I, in fact, am a rich man. Third M about money, you must be aware of the mistakes that people make about money. Mistakes like, I am too young to be making money. I am too young to be making And some of us put it in the, in the heads of our children. As I'm sending you to school, now just go to school. Just go to school. God will be providing for me. I will be providing for you. When you finish school, you now come and start learning how to make money. By that time, it is late. The man eventually finishes school at 28. He doesn't know the first thing about money. He has never earned a dime of his own. Are you still here? Are you still here? Somehow we put it into our, uh, into our heads and into our children's heads. Our parents, parents also put it into our heads that you cannot combine your academics or your development with making money. That is not true. 
Are you still here? Making money is it, 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 it gathers, it increases as you uh, within with uh, with experience. Genesis 13, verse 2. Abraham was very rich in cattle, in silver, and in gold. Another mistake, once you are making money, money will automatically be coming to you. Not true. In fact, this one, if you don't learn anything from here, learn this one. If you don't master how to perpetuate money, money, you, you may come into a season of making money, and then you come into another season, you will not see anything again. People who make money perpetually, they know how to perpetuate it. Are you still here? They do stuff in order to perpetuate it. That's uh, Proverbs chapter 27, verse 24. Very quickly. Mrs. Uh, um, e. Prince, we need to be fast. For riches, Bible says, are not forever. Nor does a crown endure to all generations. That's Proverbs, uh, open 23, verse 5. Riches are not forever. Somebody say riches are not forever. Say it, say it, say riches are not. That's, that's why you see some people, they were rich. They are former millionaires. Then they will sit down very broke and, and battered. And then they will say, I remember those days. I remember I had seven cars. Uh, it's because he was having seven cars. That's why he's now broke. Yes. What's he doing with seven cars? Praise God. Are you still here? You need to... So, you are making money today. That's a seed to ensure that your harvest never stops. So, what I'm saying in that point is, you must always see money as a harvest. What you are earning now is a harvest. Sorry, it's a seed. It's a seed for a harvest. And then another harvest comes and then you turn that one into a seed. You take more, you enjoy more, you lick more. You turn it into a seed. That's the only way it will be perpetuated. Praise the Lord. Are you still learning something? Another mistake. One needs to cheat in order to make money. One needs to steal. One needs to cut corners in order to make money. That is not correct at all. Proverbs 22 verse 16. Praise the Lord. I said praise the Lord. Is somebody here this morning? He who oppresses the poor to increase his riches, and he who gives to the rich, two of them will surely come to what? Poverty. Let's see Proverbs 13 verse 11. Proverbs 13 verse 11 says it better. Wealth gained by dishonesty will be diminished, but he who gathers by labor will increase. Praise the Lord. I'm sure you have heard that out some people made some, some uh, studies over a long time. They studied people who, who, who won lotteries or who gambled and they made a lot of money. And they found out that over maybe like five years, before ten years max, they have lost all the money they made. I mean, if you go back, study people like Mike Tyson. I've forgotten which one he, he, uh, I've forgotten what, which one of those uh, of those uh, world heavyweight boxers. I've forgotten which one. He's right now. He's in UK. He works in a bar. Eh? No, no, not my type. He works as a bodyguard in a bar. I mean, those guys will have just one fight, and they will make tens of millions of dollars per fight. But they didn't understand it. When you leave here, go and study Mike Tyson. Broke! Glory to Jesus. Are you still here? Are you still here? You need to understand what we are teaching this morning. You need to understand how to handle money. Praise God. Number five. And we are getting to the meat of the, of, the, of the teaching this morning. You need to master how to make money. First M is what? Quickly. Revision. First M is what? Second M. The what? Third M. Fourth M. Okay, fourth M is where I almost jump on. You must understand how to manipulate money in your favor. 
you must master how to manipulate money in your favor. Listen, everybody look up at me. Money answers to spiritual warfare. Money answers to spiritual warfare. But the only mistake we do is that in church, we want to use only spiritual warfare to get all the money. We don't approach or we don't try understand, talk less of utilizing all the other M's. Praise the Lord. So the average church person, he wants to die. He goes from Morio Ketorio Ketorio. Oh God, Oh God, make me rich. And God is saying, you have done enough spiritual warfare. You need to go and do some more. Go and practice some other M's. Glory to God. Listen, if money didn't answer to spiritual warfare, they would not have been you getting money from uh, rituals. Do you know they get people get money from rituals? From stealing pants? Uh, you, you, do, you, uh, you don't know. Okay, somebody's afraid that if they say they know, that we may think that that's what they are doing. They are not here. Praise God. I said, praise God. Listen, if they can do stuff and then call somebody's name and then their business will start growing, they will start making money, it means that money is spiritual. And usually what the devil does is that he counterfeits the original, which is what God does. Glory to God. Money answers to confession. Money answers to binding and losing. I was reading one powerful prophet's book. You, you know, and he said there's an angel called gold that in his life, the angel called gold had appeared to him a couple of times. And, you know, whenever that angel appears, his finances and his ministry's finances will just go to another level. Praise the Lord. Listen, there are angels that have been assigned to in charge of your money in the city. Are you still here? And now there are also demons that have been assigned to keep money from entering your hand. If you understand that, you will be able to stand in your place and do spiritual authority and tell the devil, go to hell and then empower the angel of money in your favor. Praise the Lord. I said, praise the Lord. Are you still here? Are you still here? It's so very important you understand that. Number five now, you must master how to make money. Open to 1 Kings chapter 10. How do we say what do, how, how will you make money? By creating value and adding it to as many people as you can. Create products, good products and services. Praise the Lord. Study people. Study your environment. Study wherever you, you are living in or where, where, where your daily affairs takes you to. And study what they need in that environment. And then... Find a way of looking for those things and supplying it to them. That's where you make money. Am I communicating? I want this today, even though I know it would be hot. Because I wanted to market Bishop's son. Stand up, Bishop's son, in case they don't know you. Glory to Jesus. Bishop's son is the one who sells this. And he doesn't buy it from Oshodi. Bishop's son imports these things. Praise God. What do the Igbo boys do? Before, even before now, Bishop, sit down. Before now, you see Igbo boy didn't go to school, maybe primary six. He would just enter plane and go to China. He doesn't understand their language. It, it, not now that, that things are more organized. He doesn't understand their language. He doesn't, the boy just go there and then look, 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 and then talk to people. I can imagine, because I imagine things a lot. Those first people who, who broke those frontiers to create relationships in those places, how did they do it? Praise the Lord. And then they will broker a relationship and before you know it, container will be arriving. Are you still here? What did he do? He just identified a need and went about meeting it. Praise the Lord. Uh, let's read from 1 Kings chapter 10 quickly. Well, verse 22. We are going to read very fast. Just to give you ideas on how to, to create values. For the king, talking about Solomon... Add merchant ships at sea with the fleet of Iram. Once every three years, the ships came bringing gold, silver, ivory, apes, and monkeys. So, uh, in other words, if, if, if it's uh, uh, incorrect, uh, 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 if it's a uh, uh, grammatical error, or you want to say it that way. So, therefore, King Solomon surpassed all the kings of the earth in riches. 
maritime business. Add sheets, go to places, and they brought stuff. Are you still here? I, I told you how that I was in Parable of Dollars many years ago, and Erastus Akingbola said something. MD of uh, Intercontinental, Intercontinental at that time. He said, it's opening statement. You cannot be really wealthy if you are not an entrepreneur and if your business is not international. I was wondering. Now let's look at how Solomon made his money such that he became the richest. Is somebody following me? Please ask me, ask your neighbor, are you following? Now, so we saw that he was involved with uh, bringing stuff, ivory, gold, all those things. Now, all the earth, how many people sought the presence of Solomon to hear his wisdom, which God has put in his heart? Each man brought his present, articles of silver and gold, garments, armor, spices, horses, and moves. If you stop there, you would think they were bringing honorarium for Solomon. But if you read further, you will see that it is not honorarium. Solomon was not counseling, he was consulting. Bible says, uh, go back there, we haven't finished. At a set rate, and the thing was increasing year by year. So, the, so, so Solomon was into public speaking. He was into counsel. He was in, but he monetized it. Help me tell your neighbor you know enough to be wealthy. I told you last Sunday how go. Who the man do me? I told man do me. When I say things here, people don't follow it like that. I told you here how that I saw an advert. How much, how much I've made from, from YouTube in the last two years. Then I went there and I listened to that girl. In two years, she had made $20,000. The first video she made, she earned, I think, maybe $18. But calculating it in two years, she had made over 20 Now, she makes average of about $1,000 per month. Praise the Lord. Those are the ones that you will sit down, buy uh, internet, data, and then you'll be... <laughs> What's that girl? That's my girl. Emmanuel, what's her name? Yeah. Manuela. I hope you know that's money she's making. You are... <laughs> yes, sir, you are the one helping her to make money. All that fooling around she's doing, she's not doing it because she's, not, she's jobless. She, the each time you click... To watch, and then something pops up. Emmanuel is making money. Glory to God. And here we are. There are some persons here. You are funnier than those people. <laughs> receive grace. I said, receive grace. Oh. Solomon gathered chariots and horses. Horsemen. He had 1,400 chariots and 12,000 horsemen whom he stationed in the chariot cities. Verse 27, quickly. The king made silver as common in Jerusalem and as stones. They didn't make silver in Jerusalem. So what they did was by importing them. We saw it earlier. His merchant sheets brought ivory, gold, silver. So literally he flood. Oh, praise God. I think Solomon was an Igbo man. He made cedar trees, construction equipment, uh, construction uh, materials as abundant as the sycamores, which are in the lowlands. And Solomon also add, also Solomon add horses. Please help me call that word. Call it, call it, call it, call it. Don't be afraid. The first time I saw it, Pastor, I dropped my Bible. I took the Bible again. I look at it. Importation inside Bible. Yes. Yes. He imported from Egypt and blah, blah, blah. Uh, the king's merchants bought them at Kevin at the current price. Continue. Now, a chariot that was imported from Egypt cost 600 shekels and a horse 150. And thus, through their agents, I dropped the Bible again. Say, what kind of Bible is this one? You mean there's agents inside Bible? 
agent is not the important now. It's just the agent. Oh, we bind poverty. Yeah. That amen is paralyzed. We, I cause poverty. In the name of Jesus. I just used my language to cause poverty right now. Glory to God. And a horse wondered and all that. Through their agents, please help me call that word. I shouldn't call it, I'm preaching. Importation. If you want to know how to import things from China, US, UK, Bishop charges for it. But Bishop, please, if they are members of this church, do it only for like 20,000. Edjo, Edjo. Use your, your church mind. Use your bishop mind. Are you still here? He learned it with money much more than double that. Are you still here? Import. You can import. With 100,000, you have started business. Sir. Little by little, you bring a markup, you sell there. You bring a markup, you sell there. You bring a markup, you sell there. And if some of us sit down, sir, to calculate the money you waste on data. Hello? I's your father. I's your mother. I was your Valentine now. <laughs> My credit is being rubbish. I will borrow it. Star 606 Ash. 5,000 Naira borrow. Uh, <laughs> don't mind them. They don't want to say, hey, I was Valentine. By the time you calculate it for two months, it has reached 100,000. Longest time you have started a business. Am I communicating? If they ask what you are you doing, you will tell them I am an importer and an exporter. Are you still here? Right in this office, they, they bring stuff for me from China, from US, from UK. And now you don't need to travel there. Don't say, Where will I get the flight ticket? Where will I get the money to buy it? No, 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 no. Where will I get the money? Oh, just sit here. Order. And pay for customs and clearing. They will call you. You go and pick it there. Somewhere around the airport. Praise the Lord. Are you still here? Is there anybody here? Are you here in that corner? Are you here? Quickly. Oh, let's read this verse of the scripture. I have 10 minutes more. God will help me. Second Kings chapter 4, verse 7. When I counsel people who say they don't know anything, how, what to do, I, say, I tell them it's good to go and learn something. It's good to go and learn a skill, do something or uh, whatever. But for me, the fastest and the surest way to make him money is selling. Somebody say selling. selling. You buy here, you mark up there, you sell there. Buy here, Buy from. <laughs> you know, some of us buy things from Jumia. The person you are buying it from doesn't have it in his house. When you order it, the person already has people in, 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 in Saleko. Nicholas, when you are coming in the evening, help me bring that thing. I'll give you money when they come. So they, they, they receive it and package it. And then they send it to you. It's a leco there. They made 5,000, 8,000, 10,000 off you. In this Abula Robo Shatter, you know what occurred to me? Some of us, your house is closer to a leco than their house where they are living. <laughs> the person who is selling it to you, to you he lives in Bega. You live in uh, uh, Owaro. <laughs> Let me tell your neighbor, devil has died. <laughs> In short, I had news that they are burying him tomorrow. <laughs> the idea, people of Jesus, is you must surge. You have to wake up. Church people are too asleep. Too asleep. Things are happening out there. No cheating. Are you still here? 
not cheating. This is business. So that's Second Kings chapter four, verse seven. That woman who told uh, who told uh, the prophet that uh, her children were about to go into slavery quickly. Praise God. Second Kings chapter four, verse seven. So she came to the man of God, and then the man of God said, "You surely have something in your house." Let me tell your neighbor, you have something in your house. He said, I have a little one. Say, that's enough. Go and borrow vessels. Somebody say, borrow vessels. Say it again, borrow vessels. Say it one more time, borrow. Say it one more time, borrow. Borrow vessels. Some people say, ah, I don't borrow. I don't really borrow. You are partly correct. Don't borrow that which you know you cannot pay. And don't borrow to use it to enjoy. Am I communicating? But you identify a business that is already moving, borrow money, put it inside. Praise the Lord. And then make sure you first pay back the money. So borrow, borrow, borrow not a few. She went and then she borrowed. And Bible says, and then she, you know, you remember the story? The oil was flowing. Then she came and told the man of God, look at this woman. No? That's what I'm believing God to do in our church this morning. The oil is now flowing. She came to the woman of, to the man of God. Ah, there's plenty of oil. There's plenty of oil. What should I do? If I was that man of God, I would say, go and drink it. <laughs> what did the man of God tell her? Go and do what? Please call that word well. It's not unholy. Uh, call it well. Call it well. Sell the oil and do what? Pay your debt and then do what? Leave on the rest. Glory. Are you still here? Proverbs 31, 24. All of us talk about, about uh, the, the, the virtuous woman. The virtuous woman. Proverbs 31, 24. Praise God. She makes fine linen garments and does what? Anyway, the kind of women that I want to describe next, they are not in Eston Church. In Eston Church, Pastor Iti, you agree with me, our women are empowered. They play in men's terrains. Our women are sharp, rap, rap. They are wake up. Are you still here? Not people who say, darling, bye bye. And then as soon as the man goes, she locks the door uh -huh, and put on Nollywood. Uh -huh, which zero, zero, zero. And then you be the watching. Uh, Darego, Darego, da, 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 da. <laughs> And ah, ah, it's almost fall. I need to go and cook. Our women are not like that. Are you still here? Or some people will say, eh, hey, Nkechi, come, my husband has gone. Come and make my hair. The one you made yesterday, I don't like it. Or lose it. <laughs> and make another one. I want to be beautiful for my husband. Our uh, women are not like that. And then she makes it for the next like six hours. And then her husband is coming. And then she says, ah, is this what you made? Uh, you are going to repeat it tomorrow. Our women are not like that. Though. They are like this woman inside Bible. Praise God. Bible says she makes leaning garments and sells them before now you will see okay and supplies supply supply business supply business searches for the matches they are not here per adventure there's somebody here who does like I just behaved or I just painted now we deliver you. Yeah. That amen is weak. Yeah. Receive your deliverance yeah. in the name of Jesus. Praise God. Learn to make money. Number next, learn to manage money. Managing money is about three things. Paying yourself first. Budgeting the remaining and then saving your money. Saving up money. Paying your first self means you take can we see Ecclesiastes chapter 11? I think verse 2. Ecclesiastes chapter 11 verse 2. Paying yourself means you take money. Whatever you are earning now, whether it's 10,000 or 120,000 or 300,000, it's your seed. Are you still here? Are you still here? Seed. Seed into four or five different places. Let's see whether I can quickly roll it out from my head. Number one, seed for the kingdom. Your tithes, your, in, your offerings, whatever, gifts to the kingdom of God. Number two, your seed for your future. You take it and plant it into your future. It's not for your spending. 
Money is not for spending, it is for sending. Money is not for spending, it is for sending. Cast your bread upon the waters. I think that maybe verse 1. Praise God. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Cast your bread upon the waters for you find it after many days. Let's look for either NIV or New Living Bible. Quickly. Or oh, thank you, Jesus. No. Go on. New Living Bible, Message Bible. I, no. Good. Be generous. Invest in acts of charity. Charity yields high returns. Now, the word investment is what I want to bring out there. Paying yourself is about taking part of your money, at least like 10, 20, even 30% of your income, and investing it. Managing money is about not being a spendthrift, not spending money on impulse, learning to not waste money, not spending money on irrelevancies, not sending, spending money to impress people, not living beyond your means. Don't spend on cloth to impress people. You see me? Okay, don't follow Jesus. Praise the Lord. But you know, sometimes I'm tempted to give myself some of many of the things we do here. It's in order to model. Am I communicating? If if I was such a person that every time I come here, I come with a brand new jacket and brand new everything, and then everything is shining, brand new shoe. When I am preaching, the people will not listen to me. It's the shoe they will be listening to. And then when there's a young man here, if God puts in him to go into ministry, the first thing he will ask God is, before you give me the message, give me the jacket. Because it, it makes people misunderstand what's up. Are you still here? Are you still here? You cannot afford to be materialistic, sir. You cannot. Am I communicating? So long as the cloth is not torn, so long as it's a cotisha, how, uh, how do you say that in English? It has not shard. Okay, covenant investor. As long as it's not faded, praise God. Use your money to invest into your future. Oh, palo rogo dobo shata la rabo sata. Are you still here? Are you still here? Stop frowning that uh, uh, your, uh, your husband has not bought a third freezer for you. He has bought one. F you pressurize him, he bought the second one. Uh, uh, that's how me, I want to live my life. In the first one, I want only water. In the second one, I want uh, only soup. In the third one, I want uh, all, all the soft drink. How can people come to our house and there's no soft drink to drink? Some people, if you go to their house, they will go inside. And they start bringing all manners of sophisticated wine. 50,000 naira, 50, naira wine, clinical wine. You go to some people's house. There's a bar there. They built a bar inside there. And then they'll put wine there. They'll even be boasting with it. This wine costs 300,000. It's 18 years old. Be drinking 18 years old wine. <laughs> that, that's why people die before their time. In fact, in fact this wine is 150 years. Continue. Wabambe. <laughs> Wabambe. Somebody shout hallelujah. <laughs> learn to save and learn to invest. Are you still here? Learn to save and learn to invest. I've blown my time. So I'll just talk only on one or two. You must master how to multiply money. That person in the Bible who they gave one talent, the Lord came back and was angry with him. And the Lord told him what made him especially angry. Matthew 25, verse 16. If you're here, and what I said last now, your wife needs to be hearing it always. Or maybe it's your husband that needs to be hearing your way. Let me give you one, one, one. Don't tell her, even though she's listening. Put it inside your phone. And use that line to be your ringing tone. <laughs> oh my God. So every time your phone is ringing, don't pick it deliberately. Leave it there. <laughs> then you will go. Invest your money. Invest your money. By the time she keeps hearing it every day, her attitude will change. Praise the Lord. 
Are you still here? Matthew 25 verse 16. Then he who had received the five talents went and traded with them. Somebody say he traded with them. Yes. Say it again, he traded with them. Yes. Same thing, second person, if you can find a verse, the one who received two talents, the Bible says he traded with them. And likewise also, he who had received two gained two more. And then when the Lord came, he, said, ah, where did, he, he turned to the one who had one. And said, where is, what, where, what did you bring? He said, I didn't bring anything. He said, I knew that you are an austere man. You sow where you did not reap. That's not true. That's not true. He misunderstood his master. His master is a master investor. Praise the Lord. He, doesn't, he believes in, in the time value of money. He believes in the seed value of money. So his master said, what you have done, I don't like. But this Lord answered and said to him, you wicked and lazy servant, you knew that I reap where I have not sown and gather where I have not scattered seed. So you ought to have deposited my money with the bankers. And at my coming, I would have received back my own with interest. What is it called again? What is it called in the, in the, in the bank now? Eh? Fix deposits. Praise the Lord. You fix it. Interest. Okay, so learn to multiply your money. Time will not permit us, but you just need to master how to multiply money. Praise the Lord. I said praise God. Lastly, you must be missional with money. Learn to master how to be missional with money. Use money for God's cause. Use money to promote the kingdom of God. That's how come God will be comfortable pushing it to you continuously. He said he is the one who gives you power to get wealth. Glory to God. I said glory to God. I invest heavy, but I invest into the kingdom heavy. That's how I do my things. Oh yes, that's how I do my things. Heaven knows it. And I'm not getting softer. It's because I'm becoming more intense with it. Am I communicating? So my flow can never stop. Never. I can't stop. I'm not praying. I'm telling you. Are you still here? Are you blessed? Be missional with money. 